we have temperatures that are significantly warmer than yesterday. And as we start to see warmer temperatures, higher humidity, that's when we have this chance for strong to severe storms. Two rounds of showers and storms are expected just for today and then rounds continuing into the weekend as well. The best chance for severe weather is going to be in the late afternoon this evening and tonight, roughly from about 4 to 10. But then it changes over to a flooding concern in that overnight period and into Saturday. All modes of severe weather are possible, including some flooding issues because heavy rain is going to be likely and we could see repeated rounds of rain. Radar is quiet for the time being for most of us, but you notice here that we're already starting to see showers and storms develop along Lake Erie, including near the islands. It's raining, it's thundering. You have some of that heavy rain as well. Showers continue over toward the west near Toledo as well. And then we have this complex of showers and storms near Wisconsin, Illinois. All of this is moving toward us thanks to a strong low pressure. And we're already starting to see more clouds and we're at 68 degrees. That's a lot warmer than yesterday's 40s. You can automatically feel that change. The dew points at 53, but by this afternoon, that is just going to go so much higher into the middle and upper 60s, maybe even some lower 70s. That's a huge change in a really short period of time, all thanks to that system moving toward us. Temperatures right now into the 60s for all of us, 62 in New Philly, from 68 to downtown, and most of us into about the middle 60s. Here's that warm front lifting through increasing the temperatures increasing the moisture content, aka the dew points. You have this low pressure moving right over the Great Lakes and then a trailing cold front. So that's the setup. Here's the timing of it. Round one, just some showers. You might get some lightning and some thunder as well. Then as we get into the afternoon, it is expected for us to get a lull in a lot of locations. This time is pivotal for how strong the storms will be later in the day. Somebody asked me on Twitter, isn't there just going to be some thunderstorms that we could normally see in the summer? Not quite. It's possible for a lot of us to see that, but it's all dependent on what happens in the mid and early afternoon, how much sunshine we get, how much time we have in between rounds. Because if it moves in a little bit faster, if that one hangs out slower, it's going to be a lot harder to build that instability that's needed for severe weather. At this time, though, we have basically all the ingredients that we need. We just need to mix them together in order for any severe weather to happen. It would be great if it didn't because severe weather is meaning damaging storms. Notice here that around five o'clock all the way to tonight, those bright colors signifying the potential for those stronger storms. And then it does look like it's going to linger as we move into the overnight early on Saturday and Saturday. We will have some additional scattered showers and storms, some of which could be strong, mostly dry on Father's Day, but I did add a chance to isolate it. But I still want you to be aware, especially if you have plans to be golfing, eating outside with dad. We bring in another cold front early next week, and that is going to drop our temperatures pretty significantly. You almost kind of look past it. 67 degrees on Tuesday. That's a lot cooler than where we're starting off the week. It will start to warm things back up by the end of next week's work week. She's back.